Hi everyone, I really hope you're enjoying my power saving vlog challenge where I consciously and proactively try and reduce my consumption of power, reduce my emissions, reduce my impact on the environment and hopefully save some money. All of which goes to round three of the thousand dollar project. Now I was supposed to head to the gym this afternoon and jump on a treadmill and have a great cardio session. However, I decided instead of driving to the gym and wasting money on petrol, I'm going to come down to the park with the dogs, get some vitamin D, fresh air, leave my headphones at home and hear you know, the sounds of the environment and get back in touch with nature. And I'm going to work out exactly how much money I'm saving on petrol by not driving to the gym. Instead of heading, getting outside, heading down to my local park. So this will all come into my vlog saving challenge and all go towards round three of the thousand dollar project. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because there's lots more power saving tips coming your way. It is Sunday morning and I'm just quickly putting Rocco in the car and again, more rubbish in our gutters and just like dumped on the side of the road. I'm going to quickly pick this up and put it in the recycling bin. Moving on to saving water now. Apparently if your shower fills a nine litre bucket in one minute or less, it means that it needs an energy efficient shower fitting, like a flow restrictor. So I'm actually just about to have a shower myself. I'm going to test this theory. I've got my bucket ready to go and I'm actually going to do something really efficient with the water that gets collected in this bucket going forward, which I will share with you shortly. The good news is my shower is actually really efficient. It took a while to fill up my bucket. However, I had the timer going whilst I was having a shower and it made me realize um, I have a really long shower. I get in the shower and I kind of zone out and um, all that water is being wasted. And by the time I got out of the shower, I stopped the timer and I was really embarrassed as to how long my shower was. So from now on, I'm gonna time my showers and make a conscious effort each time I have a shower to make it one minute um, shorter. Now I've got my bucket of water, which I collected um, during my shower. It's nice and full, and I'm actually gonna use this now to water my garden. Now I don't feel quite as guilty having a long shower because I know that I'm using some of this, well, recycling some of this water. Now that felt really good recycling the water. So I'm actually going to keep this bucket in my shower at all times. And every time I have a shower, I will water my garden this way. So I'm not going to really be using a hose as much. So as it turns out, there's a lot of new and really cool technology that is simple and easy to use that not only reduces our consumption of power and helps us save money, but also run our homes in a lot more efficient manner. Now, Origin very kindly and generously sent me one of their Home HQ starter kits. And inside these starter kits are all these amazing gadgets that will actually help me run my home more efficiently, save money, but also help make it more secure. And inside the starter kit are things like motor sensors, entry sensors, temperature and humidity sensors, and my favorite of all, smart plugs. And these are all actually remotely controlled off your phone. And I've downloaded the app and it is so easy to set up and use. Now, my favorite gadget of them all is actually my smart plug. I I hate coming home to a cold dark house I get quite scared and I don't want to also waste money and power by leaving a light switch on whilst I'm out you know during the day or even at night time so what I can do is actually control the lights behind me using my app and even like the, the great thing about this is this morning like lying in bed knowing to go downstairs and start my day and it was dark downstairs I could actually turn this light up from the comfort of my bed making my home feel really quite safe but also knowing that I'm not wasting money on power now to end today's vlog I actually want to end it on a note of gratitude and thanks thank you to all the subscribers and all the viewers who've been sharing with me in the comments box below what you guys could do inside your own home to save money on power. Now I've been reading through these suggestions and ideas and started incorporating them into my own home myself. One of which is switching off the stove before your meal is actually cooked using the residual heat to finish off cooking the dish and also things like switching off the heating and cooling about half an hour before I know I'm leaving the home, letting that residual heat and cooling get me through for the next 30 minutes. All 
all these little things really do add up and I cannot wait to see the reduction in my power bill.